everyone, I am Shitan Shu from Dream Abroad and I've got a big news for you today. Canada is going to conduct a new federal elections in just one month time. Wait, I thought there was an elections in 2019 and the next elections was supposed to be in 2023. But why is Canada now conducting these elections once again and what impact could it have on the Canadian immigration? We'll talk about this in this video. So if you're interested, stay tuned. And before we start discussing about this big news, I want to wish all the Indians across the world a very happy Independence Day. I know when you're watching this video, it might be 16th of August, but we went to Indian Independence Day celebrations in Mississauga, which is next to Toronto. And it was a massive celebration. You should definitely watch it. I'll provide a link to that video in the description box below. I really hope that you would be happy to see how the Indian culture and Indian independence is celebrated even in Canada by the Indian community. Okay, now talking about the big news. New federal elections in Canada are going to be conducted next month in just a few weeks time. So the government has announced that on September 20th, there would be one more federal elections that would be conducted. But why? The last federal elections were conducted in Canada just two years ago and now they are conducting one more elections in just two years time. Ideally, they could have waited for four years, that's the general term. But the current Canadian government of the Liberal Party, Justin Trudeau, the Prime Minister, they've announced that there would be one more elections that would be conducted in just one month time. The reason behind that is very simple. The last time they won the elections in 2019, it was not a majority win. So any decision that they have to take, of course, they have to take the support of their allies. Passing any bill, creating any new law in the Canadian Parliament is challenging because they are not in majority. But now after COVID, whatever they have done, they believe that their support from the Canadian population would be immense. Since the pandemic started, they announced several policies that directly benefited the general population of Canada. They announced all those benefits. If anyone is sick or self-isolating, they would still get money from the Canadian government as a salary if they were working. Also, they held employers to pay the salary of their employees and also pay the rent uh, for the small businesses. So all of these things are definitely in favor of Liberal government at the moment. Also, the recent opinion polls suggest that the Canadian population is actually quite happy with the Liberal government with the way they have handled the uh, pandemic so far. Also, they've controlled the pandemic in a very nice manner. The vaccination rates are quite high. They are among the top few countries in the world. More than 70% of the eligible Canadians have got the two vaccine shots. So the federal government thinks that people would be quite happy with the way that the pandemic has been handled by them. Let it be the monetary policies to help the people directly absorb the shock of the pandemic or let it be the vaccination, which is also very good here in Canada. And of course, the other political parties know about it. The conservatives are not all happy that Canada is actually conducting a federal election at this point of time. Similarly, NDP as well. Jagmeet Singh also issued a statement saying that this is not a time to conduct the elections this is time to go along with the uh, you know current progress that we're making to cope up with the pandemic but the elections would be conducted it's official so now what would be the impact of these elections on the immigration process as such there won't be a direct impact that we would see in the next couple of months because ircc would continue with the existing policies there won't be any pause on any programs. Everything would continue, um, you know, on the short run, everything would continue as it is. But in the long run, we could definitely see some impacts on the Canadian immigration as well. First of all, if the conservatives win, it is well known that conservatives are not pro-immigration. They might bring in some big changes in the immigration policies, but that is if the conservatives win. The poll also suggests and also the Canadian Liberal government actually scheduled these elections just because of the fact that they're very confident that the Liberals would win. If the Liberals would win, then yes, things might continue the same way. But yes, we might see a new immigration minister. In 2019, the immigration minister was changed from the previous government, which is also a Liberal government. So yes, even if the Liberal government stays and they get the majority, 
we might see some changes in the immigration policies as well but we'll get to know about it as the time passes they've just announced these elections and all the parties have just few weeks to prepare their manifestos to actually declare their policies what they want in the immigration uh, field as well so whatever is the update i'll continue updating you if you haven't subscribed the channel yet please do click the subscribe button the upcoming videos are going to be very informative and very useful and also if you want to enjoy some fun moments you can follow me on instagram at dreamers abroad and also subscribe to the new vlogging channel with the same name dreamers abroad thanks a lot for watching this video